What's up guys, my name is Lindsay Geyser. We're out here at Coral Pink Sand Dunes in Utah and this is my new X3 build. We're gonna break it down today and take it out and rip it. All right, so the first thing we did was put some power behind this thing. So we've got an Evolution Power Sports tune on it. It's not released yet, so I can't tell you what it is, but it does run on 100 LL fuel. I've got a Magnus exhaust paired with the Shift Tech clutching package. This thing's fast. You know me, you know I love a good battle, so we had to make sure my front end was strong. TMW hooked it up with a bumper, bulkhead, and shock tar mount to bulk up the front end. So we needed to get the suspension dialed in on this thing, so we took it to our guys at Shock Therapy. They put their ride improvement system on it, as well as the sway bar package, so we have a smooth ride. This time we went with the 33-inch ITP Coyote wrapped on a 15-inch KMC grenade. Rigid is always my go-to for lighting, so we have the 50-inch SR series up top, as well as all of their accessory lights like dome lights and rock lights. Up top, we went with the only whip we trust, Buggy Whip. Hi, Russell. <laughs> so the theme of a car is always the most fun thing to do. I went to Cactus Wraps and they came back with a great idea to do a full color change in a pearl satin wrap. It honestly looks painted and in the sun it shimmers and it is so gorgeous. After we got the exterior dialed in, it was time to move on to the interior, which is also super important. I wanted to go with a tan seat to contrast that bright white on the outside, so I went to Herbie from Triple X and he executed it perfectly. Right behind the seats, we have the full JL audio system. JL lined us up with some of their premier products and this thing bumps. I wanted to have the loudest car at the top of the hill and they made it happen. The next step was getting it all installed. So I took it over to Max at Double X Designs he installed the audio as well as all of the wiring and the custom dash. With the custom dash, I wanted to go with something simple and clean to control all of the accessories. So I went with the Switch Pro 9100. Not only can you control it in here, but you can do it all from the phone too. As most girls will agree, communication is key. <laughs> so we made one call to Rugged Radios and they sent over a car to car system with intercom and headsets. Doors are a huge focal point on any build and I love the look of the TMW doors. Not only do they look good, but these door bags inside are super convenient. And they close like butter. It was a no-brainer to go with the Jeffries Performance Cage on this one. I chose the low boy option on this to get that sleek, clean style on top. Now, I might sound biased, but this build would not have been possible without my crew over at Jeffries Performance. They put in the hours and executed this build exactly how I wanted it. Now that you've seen this thing top to bottom, let's go drive it and see what it can do.
<laughs> ain't getting away, dude. Ha, 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 ha.